Developing fuels. This unit by, began by considering some of the desirable properties of a good fuel. This led you to compare the energy released when different fuels are burned in oxygen and to a general study of energy changes in chemical reactions. You then found out how petrol is made and how chemists and chemical engineers are helping to develop better fuels for motor vehicles. This means producing fuels which give improved performance and greater fuel economy so that we use our precious reserves of crude oil as economically as possible. Petrol is a mixture of hydrocarbons, many of which are alkanes, many of which are alkanes. This led you to find out more about the properties and reactions of alkanes, but the hydrocarbons which give the best performance in the petrol engine are not the ones which are most plentiful in crude oil. So, after the primary distillation of crude oil into fractions, there is a whole range of chemical processes carried out in the refinery to doctor the hydrocarbons to suit our needs. Petrol must have the correct octane number to avoid auto-ignition. Branch chain alkanes have higher octane numbers than straight chain alkanes. Okay. Branch chain alkanes have higher octane numbers than straight chain alkanes, which led, it, led you to discover which led, it, led you to discover structural isomerism in more detail. For some molecules, it's enough to rearrange the position of the atoms, but large molecules must be broken down into smaller, more useful ones, and some smaller ones are actually joined together. The final petrol is a blend of many hydrocarbons and possibly some oxygenate too, and possibly some oxygenate too. This led you to find out about the structures of other compounds in other homologous series. Alkenes, arenes, alcohols and ethers. Alkenes, arenes, alcohols and ethers. The blending of petrol components to form the final blend introduced you to simple ideas about entropy. The blending of petrol components to form the final blend introduced you to simple ideas about entropy. The You then went on to consider the problems of emissions from motor vehicles, the difference between primary and secondary pollutants, and the formation of photochemical smog. You examined ways in which car manufacturers and oil companies are tackling the problem of emissions by changing engine, te engine technology to control the way the fuel burns, by changing the composition of the fuel, and by using catalytic converters to speed up reactions in the exhaust that convert the pollutant to less harmful gases. You then looked at more detail at the role of catalysts in chemical reactions. In the immediate future, it seems that the use of oxygenates will play a large part in fuel development. However, the story did not end with petrol. Our supplies of crude oil are finite and are needed for more than petrol alone. So, you were invited to think about alternative fuels in your presentations, such as hydrogen, for motor vehicles in the more distant future. Much of the chemistry you've covered in developing fuels is fundamental to other areas and you will need to use these ideas in other parts of the course.